Hi, I'm Malin, and today I want to talk about why and how I track my weeks. So I've just got an example here that's just a sheet of paper that I've kind of wrote out by myself, you know. This is from a couple weeks ago, you know, up here I have my week, the date, Monday through to Sunday, kind of things that I want to work on, and then, and things that I want to track and see, and then kind of over here, and then just down here I have kind of things that I do on a daily basis, and then kind of like a review thingy. So I've done this in the past several times and I found it really beneficial because it kind of gives you an objective view on your life and you can kind of see, oh, so this is actually what I'm doing. And you know, it can help reinforce the wins that you get and kind of see that you're actually making progress for the things that you want. Because sometimes our vision can be too big and feel too overwhelming. And it's just in the day-to-day -day kind of things that we kind of make progress towards it and that we can actually kind of feel fulfilled at the end of the day. And I've kind of fallen off the track of this, like two years ago, I did it really diligently, you know, like each month I kind of had it tracked out and had goals and that sort of thing. And I've kind of refined my process throughout it. And this is kind of what I found works for me, you know, a week by week thing. And I like to stick it up on my wall where I can see it. And then I can track the things that I want to do. So why else would I do that? Um, I like to see what habits I'm doing and you know see like each day and it kind of gives you something to do throughout the day it's like all right these are the things I want to do and if you kind of get a bit of satisfaction checking it off and then seeing the progress with it but also I track some things that I want to reduce the time with you know like for example my time on YouTube whether I watch a movie and those sorts of things you know I track you know how many times I do that and then I kind of see you know how much time am I spending doing these sorts of things? And is that one I want to do going forward? Is this benefiting me? And it's kind of crazy, you know, you think, oh, well, it's all right to watch it sometimes, you know, it's all right to watch YouTube a bit. But then you realize like, oh, like I've been watching it maybe two, three hours f for day, for each day. And like this week here that I had, it's ended up being about 18 hours that week. And I was just like, oh my God, 18 hours. Imagine if I spent that working on a video or playing music or I spent that on dieting or learning some sort of other skill, you know, like it's kind of makes you realize like, oh, like maybe I'm wasting time. I should actually do something with this. So that's kind of why I track and why I like to track it. And so how I do it is I just kind of pick, you know, habits that I like, habits that I want to do that kind of reinforce the person that I want to be, the identity that I want to have. And what I would recommend is you don't have, don't set the standard high, too high, you know, like where it's like, you're not doing a lot at the moment and you're like, oh, I want to work out for two hours this day. I want to have the perfect diet and I want to cold shower for five minutes and I want to meditate for half an hour. You know, it's good to have these kind of goals to have for yourself. But at the start, it's very important I've found to just cool the ego, you know, hold yourself back and just set the standard low. Um, like for example, with cold showers, it's like, just step in there, just step into the cold shower every morning. It doesn't matter how long it is. You can just step in and step out. You don't have to put your head under, just get used to doing it. And eventually you'll kind of want to do more of it. And some days, you know, you may not feel like doing it fully. So instead just do the minimum, you know, and then other days you're like, oh my God, I could be in this cold shower for ages. I could meditate for much longer. So take advantage of that. But it's very important to just keep back your ego. I can't stress this enough because for me, I've like, you know, I've had this big goal, you know, like, oh, I want to train. Like with soccer, I wanted to train for several hours. I want to do this full big session. And I didn't, I was never consistent. I had weeks where I would do it and then I wouldn't do it. And then I was doing nothing for ages. And that really stunted my progress because who's going to be better? The person that can do a thousand juggles for a couple of weeks every now and again, or the person who does just a hundred or 200 juggles every day, you know, consistently. And when you do something every day, it reinforces the behavior. And then you can build from it from there, you know, like you're just setting the foundation. That's how I want you to kind of see this. If you want to build habits, if you want to kind of build consistently towards a life that you want, you know, you've got to cool your ego and just, just get the ticks, you know, get the ticks going, you know, tick off each day and 
you know, it makes it a lot easier when you kind of set these lower standards and you may think like, oh, this is just coping, you know, this is just like some sort of like, this is too easy, I can easily take more. That means that you actually have to set your standards lower because your ego is getting in the way and your mind is actually tricking you into saying like, oh, we have to do it all or we do nothing. And it knows that you won't do all of it and change is hard. So it's just like, oh, we'll just stay doing what we want because I can't work out for two hours, you know? I can't do that in the state that I'm in at the moment. So may as well just continue watching YouTube and playing these video games. That's what your mind's gonna convince you to do. But if you're like, oh, today I just wanna get some push-ups done, maybe some like bicep curls or something, you know, and you just do like one set of it. That's all you really have to do. And you may think, well, how is this gonna make me progress? How is this gonna make me see the results that I wanna see? And it's in proving to yourself that you can do it and ingraining this habit into your daily life that over time you slowly build up and it becomes better, you know, and it starts to compound and become this snowball effect. And then all of a sudden, you know, your life is just this big line of like kind of habits that are, and routines that are, you know, making your life towards what they want to be, what you want to be. And you you feel so much more fulfilled when you kind of do that rather than like these bursts of doing heaps of things and then you do nothing and then you do heaps of things and then you do nothing. Cool your ego and just start ticking off these things. Um, and another point that I'd like to add with this, what is it? <sighs> Shit, now I've just forgotten it. Is, yeah, so the last point that I want to add for this, sorry. That was like a real, that was real like a hook right there, you know, just trying to get you in to watch this video more. So, the last thing that I wanted to add is to root, make a routine, you know, like after this, I'll do that, at this time I'll do this, after I do that, then I'll do this, you know, you kind of create this routine, so then it's kind of like this flow thing, you know, this habit leads on to the next one, which leads on to the next one, which leads on to the next one. And that makes it a lot easier rather than like, oh, I just want to do, I just want to start doing small push-ups. It's like, when are you going to do the push-ups? How many are you going to do? When are you going to do them? You know? And then you're kind of like, oh, I don't know when I'm going to do them, so I just, I just won't do them. I'll just put them off. So set a time, set a routine to do them. So that's kind of what I was talking about in this video, you know, tracking your weeks and um, the importance of it, why I think it's important, you know, to see the results, to see... Uh, an objective view of your life and to kind of reinforce um, the identity and the things that you want for your life to be and sometimes you just kind of find out this along the way so yeah thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video